What is going on guys? Welcome back. More commentary for you today. And you know what? This video here is just going to be simply about the lack of attention to detail I see in Madden. In, in things that maybe don't damage the game, but when you see them, make you wonder, you know, how much thought goes into some of this stuff? And why can't things be done properly? So Kyle Rudolph is going to catch this ball, and you know, this wasn't a touchdown in the game. I had to go back in the replay. Of course, I couldn't challenge it. I just wanted to see, did he get his feet down? Now, after looking at this, it's impossible to not notice that he just goes right through the wall back into the stands. Now, I think to myself, I didn't realize at first there were fans sitting back here. So he goes through, and now he's going to come back out. And you have to understand, Kyle Rudolph, six foot six. So we can pretty much say this is, what, a six and a half foot wall, if we're forgiving, as he morphs through it. Now, you can see these fans standing up back there, but if Kyle Rudolph is six six, six seven with the helmet, six eight, are these fans, what, seven foot two? And why would these fans be sitting in front of a wall that they can't see through? Why would you even put fans back here in a single row of seats? It's, it's such the lack of attention to detail that bothers me in this game that no one would sit there and say, wait a second, these fans are going to look like they're seven feet tall. These fans are going to sit in front of a wall they can't see anything through. And it ruins the immersion of a game because I know someone didn't take the 20 seconds it took me to see it to say, wait a second, just get rid of those seats. I mean, you have the camera crew that shift through the wall and it's no big deal. You have other players that shift through the wall. And it's no big deal. It's not just the wall on the sidelines. It's everything on the sidelines. You know, this player walks through a table. You know, is it that difficult to put in an item that's solid or not put it in at all? The players and the coaches shift through each other. You know, this is from another video I'd done before. You know, obviously there's some clips I didn't use, but here's two players warping through each other on the sideline as well. Here's another great example of Aaron Rodgers actually completely going through someone on my team. And then we'll finish this off with one of my receivers getting clipped through by a cameraman. Like, this is the stuff that people pay attention to and make me question how much thought goes into the rest of the game. Because if you can't get something so simple like a wall right, how can I expect you to get something as intricate as coverage is right? And I wouldn't even talk about this if the player didn't go through the wall in the first place. All you have to do is make the player not go through a wall and none of this conversation even happens. But that's where we are with Madden 18. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. Back in the week with more commentary.